Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Richart. I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to our polynomials unit, and so I'm going to use Desmos to help us out with this. So we have four main polynomials that we're going to be looking at. There's many, many more, there's an infinite amount, but we're going to look at four polynomials. The ones we're going to look at are called linear, quadratic, cubic, and quartic. So a linear function, you've studied a lot in Algebra 1. A linear function looks like this. Linear, the root word is line. Like all polynomials, the linear function is continuous. The linear function we read as f of x equals x, or y equals x. If I create a table of parent points for this function, and I put in a negative 2, out comes negative 2. Put in negative 1, out comes negative 1. Put in 0, I get 0. Put in 1, I get 1. And put in 2, I get 2. f of x is another word for y, so we have y equals x. x and y are the same. This function extends in both directions. So all polynomials, including this one, is the domain is inf infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity, all real numbers. If we take a look at the qu quadratic function, quadratic you've also studied in Algebra 1. So if we take a look at it, it looks like this. It looks like a u. Another word for it is called a parabola. So the quadratic function is y equals x squared. So if I square all numbers, if you square negative 2, we get a positive 4. If you square negative 1, we get a positive 1. Square 0 is just 0. Square 1, we get 1. And square 2, we get 4. Notice how all the values are greater than or equal to 0. 0 and positive. This function also extends to the left and to the right. All real numbers is the domain. But notice how the range is only 0 to infinity. It's everything above above or equal to zero, greater than or equal to zero. Next we're going to look at cubic. A cubic function, we have y equals x cubed. It looks like this. If I plug in negative two and I do negative two times negative two times negative two, I get negative eight. Negative one gives me negative one. Zero gives me zero. One cubed is one and two cubed is eight. So notice how we get this shape, kind of this squiggle shape, and it goes forever in both directions. So it, the uh, domain is still all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. The last one I want to take a look at is called quartic. This is y equals x to the fourth and it kind of looks like this. It has a flatter base than the parabola, and if you add a bunch of other parts to this function, it will begin to look like a w. If I raise negative two to the fourth power, I get 16. Negative one to the fourth power, I get one. Zero to the fourth is zero, one to the fourth is one, and two to the fourth is 16. So notice how we have this u with a flatter base, and all of the values are greater than or equal to zero. So as a reminder, the linear function and the cubic functions, their domain and range are all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. It goes forever left, forever right, forever down, forever up. For quadratic and quartic functions, it goes forever left, forever right, negative infinity to positive infinity, but the range is greater than or equal to zero, from zero included all the way to positive infinity. Make sure that you've added your slides to your transition toolkit. There are four slides to add, and then go ahead and take the Schoology assignment. Good luck and let your teacher know if you have questions. Bye.